thing I always say about writing ideas is that the best thing to do with them is to wait. And if you've got an idea that's good, it will attract other good ideas. And I and the the risk is always going too early. So you run out of material, you run out of things because you've 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 gone too quickly. And so I you know I knew about the Crane Wife myth for a very very long time, and I I'd always responded to it, and I'd always really liked it. And then once one day an idea starts to circle around it. And I think, oh, that's interesting. So let's just let that sit and stew and grow. And, and it did. If it's going to be a novel, it's going to grow. And so that's how I really work on an idea. The rest is, well, it's just stuff that works for me. There's no one right way to write a novel. I mean, I know how I write a novel, but that might not be at all how somebody else does it. And if we both write a novel, then we're both right. So I do a thousand words a day. I tend to rewrite as I go along. I don't, I plan a little bit. Um, I plan enough so that I don't feel lost, but not so much that I can't be creative. But that's what works for me. And uh, if it doesn't work for you, that's fine too. That's fine. That's fine. That's just how I do it. Well, the most challenging thing about being a writer is probably the same thing as the best thing about being a writer, which is you are in complete control of your job. And that's, a, on one hand, a dream come true. It's what everybody wants. It's what I always wanted. But on the other hand, you're responsible for everything. So um, discipline, getting the words out, getting things done on time, you know, while still doing all of those technical scheduling things and somehow still being creative. But I don't know, it's, it's hard to complain about being a writer. It really is the best job in the whole world. And so the, the toughest thing about it is never going to come close to even the easiest thing about, you know, being a coal miner or something. So I, I can't possibly complain. The advice that I always give, always, always, always give about writing is write the book that you want to read. And you'd be amazed, I said this all the time, you'd be amazed at how many people don't do that. They write a book for a publisher, or they write a book for what they think the market wants, or they write a book, there are lots of books about vampires, so maybe I have to write a book about a vampire. Well, the thing is, nobody was looking for that first book about a vampire. Nobody was looking for the first Harry Potter. Nobody was looking for the first Hunger Games. It was just somebody who sat down. Whatever you think about those books, their writers just sat down and wrote a book that they couldn't wait to tell. And they brought readers to them. And that's, that's the best advice. Because it's been my experience as well when I have written stuff that I had thought was for other people. Nobody really wanted to read it. So when I said, you know, forget all that, and I've sat down, I think I'm just going to write this story that fires all of my jets. That's when people have wanted to read it. So write a book that you'd want to read yourself. Thank you.